That is Laurel Harris as Alphaba. She's singing the signature song Defying Gravity from the Broadway smash Wicked, the untold story of the Witches of Oz. The show is casting its spell on Toronto for a second time. Laurel Harris and the other star of the show, Kara Lindsay, who plays Glinda, joins us now. Welcome, girls. With the gun. Yeah. <laughs> you know, with the gun. You got it. Yeah. You, know I've seen the, you know I've seen the musical yes. a couple of times. It's such a wonderful, uplifting story for all our viewers who don't know it. Can you just give us a little synopsis of this story, Wicked? Sure. Absolutely. Um, basically, it's the story of the Wizard of Oz told from our perspective. So the witches um, that we all know and love, the Wicked Witch of the West and Glinda the Good. Um, so you get to hear what really went down in the great city of Oz and uh, not from Dorothy's view, but from our view and what Wicked and Good really mean and uh, what is truth and what is hearsay and also you know friendship the yeah. story yeah, a little bit of, of girl two girls power that's, too. Yeah. that's exactly what mm -hmm. i love about the story and that's what i want to ask you as women um, playing these roles is that how often do you have an entire show devoted to the story of friendship between women mm -hmm. and the stereotypes that we yeah. sort of cast on each other. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. It's not often that you get to play roles like this. This I mean these are two very powerful women women as you said and I mean I've certainly never um, been able to play a role like this before and I mean we literally never leave the stage mm -hmm. and um, the bond that we've created is really something special on and off stage now. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> so it's really been a, quite a journey for both of us. Mm -hmm. so. This is a musical that really stretches a uh, performer's abilities in every single way. We're talking acting and moving and then singing. And here you are, Laurel, singing Gravity, this <laughs> massively huge, beautiful, uplifting song. How, how many times do you have to rehearse that? I mean, I would think, like, okay, I got it, and then let me save my voice. I mean, what's right. rehearsal like? Well, we rehearse quite a bit before we're put into the show, um, but once you're in the show, it's eight times a week, so, you know, you definitely have to maintain your voice and be ready for the show every night and uh, sometimes two a day. Mm -hmm. um, and so it is, it's, I mean, our whole lives are, um, are lived to play these roles. I mean, we live very... <laughs> we're like nuns. Very quietly. <laughs> yeah. We're just True. like, don't yeah. go out. Yeah. Talk much. Um, so well, you're is. doing eight shows yeah. a yeah, week. We, That's we something try else. To. We try yeah. to be yeah. there. So, yeah, so everything you do, Lots eat, tea, exercise, yeah. sleep, and yeah, we try to exercise. We try to, you know, eat healthy. Mm -hmm. All the things that you know keep us going and right. strong. Your body is your instrument, so yeah. we have That's to take job. care of our, yeah. our bodies. Well, I mean, and, and also, it's especially, I mean, in, in every musical, the song is really central to the story, but I find that, it, especially in this show, when you have so many new songs that have become classics yeah. over the years, is, is there a favorite? Is there a favorite that, that you especially can relate to? I always love "For Good," and yeah, it's at the I end of the show. Say. And um, I mean, you've just seen these two women, girls turn into women, um, share this journey together, and then having that song at the end, it always touches my heart. Mm -hmm. And you know, you can just feel the audience with you because you've seen their growth and their um, their challenges and everything that they've been through and then you're at the end of the show with them and you're sing singing this very simple song mm -hmm. and um, it, you can feel that it touches people's hearts so that's my favorite mm -hmm. and I get to do it with her <laughs> yeah. it's so special yeah. no but I was gonna say the same thing it's it's I mean it is uh, the wrap-up of the entire show and once again these two empowering women can come together and you know accept their differences mm -hmm. and ultimately have this huge bond that that and carries them through, through other, yeah. yeah. So, so Laurel, you play uh, Alphaba, the Wicked Witch of the West, who's green. She's oh, green. green all the way. And I can see a little, my, just a little hue of green halo, right there. Tell us about the halo. greening process. Uh, the greening <laughs> process is amazing. It takes about 30 minutes, oh, okay. and um, our oh. makeup artist Joyce McGilber McGilberry does it, and she does a beautiful job every night. Um, but it is, it's a MAC makeup foundation, and then lots of contouring on top of that, and then tons of powder to set the makeup so that it doesn't come off on other actors and props. Oh, that's right, of um, course. So, and we have touch-ups backstage. Every time I run off stage, we're redoing the hands or, the, you know. And it's such a great element in the story, too, mm -hmm. the fact that, that 
you know, she was misunderstood because mm -hmm. she was born with green skin. It wasn't yeah. as though she was evil to begin with. Right? Exactly. She was just different. Yeah. She was pegged from childhood. Mm -hmm. So it's very unfortunate. I know. <laughs> yeah. But then it becomes so triumphant, though. Yeah. I mean, it's just such a great, yeah. great story. And so now, how have you related to the characters mm -hmm. after playing them for, for a little while now? Well, um, we were just talking about this, that, you know, you have to bring um, parts of yourself to these roles. I mean, in anything, in any role that you play, it's essentially you. So you have to find those um, little quirks and little things that mm -hmm. make these characters you. Um, so, I mean, I think I've, you always find stuff that I never thought that I would be that bubbly pink. <laughs> pop peeler. Pop peeler yeah. girl, but I mean, <laughs> but that's always what I wanted to be. So. <laughs> so, you know, you just find those little things that, um, you know, you have deep inside of you and you bring them out. So. Oh, we just have to go back to our high school experiences, yeah, oh, I think, sure. right? Yeah. I mean, you know, everyone, when you're categorizing. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Relating to. Yeah. Kara's character and then also to Elphaba, you know, we can all remember a story where we felt ostracized yeah. or felt different and even today, you know, I mean as adults, it definitely, mm -hmm. it happens all the time in our world and in every culture, so it's just about um, embracing what makes you different and unique mm -hmm. and, um, and I've learned so much about myself doing this character and I know that you know, Carrot and I, we feel the same way when it's just, we feel so lucky to have been paired together because so much of this show is the two of us mm -hmm. and to have the chemistry that we've created off stage informs yeah, our characters crazy. on stage and it's so easy. With okay, now we have to go. Yeah. Oh, wait, okay. just say popular one more time. Can you just... Popular? Wait, what do you want to say? I just, I just love it. Popular. <laughs> such a great song, such a great musical. Once again, uh, Wicked is playing, um, can you give us, uh, where is it playing? Uh, Ed Mervish. And it's it's Ed Mervish Theater. Until Ed November Theater. 2nd. Until mm -hmm. November 2nd. Laurel Harris and Kara Lindsay, thank you so much for dropping by. Thank you. The musical's called Wicked. It's